By a fortuitous coincidence, your little finger held up at arm's length against the sky covers a width of approximately one degree. This means that the area from the back of your fingernail to the tip of your finger is about one square degree. Consider what a tiny fraction of the whole sky this is. But now I want you to imagine that area divided into 84 equal parts, six columns and 14 rows. Taking an area the size of just one of these divisions and placing it over the darkest piece of sky you can see, you'd be forgiven for thinking it was empty. But what if you could collect all the light coming to you from the known universe in that patch of sky for over one million seconds and sum it all up? This is exactly what was done using the orbiting Hubble Space Telescope by a team of astronomers collecting data for a cosmological survey in 2004 and then again in 2009. And on the 5th of January 2010, the resulting image was released to the world, a message for humanity that the universe is far from empty. This is Hubble's view of the Chandra Deep Field South in the constellation of Fornax, which was first imaged with ground-based telescopes at the turn of the millennium. A patch of sky, 1 84th the area of the end of your little finger at arm's length, it contains over 7,500 individual galaxies seen at all stages of galactic evolution, some of which are over 12 billion years old. Each of these galaxies harbour some hundreds of billions of individual stars and measure tens or hundreds of thousands of light years across. This data will help astronomers to understand the earliest stages galaxies went through during their formation. But as an image, it also shows us that in order for us to be alone, we would have to be very alone. Personally, when I look at this image, I feel far from alone.